All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, before we get started on this one, I just wanted to ask a couple favors of you guys. If you're if you're new here and you haven't seen part one and part two to my elk hunting series, uh, it'd mean a lot if you went back and watched the first two. I'll leave the uh, links in the description to the first two videos uh, down below. If you guys are enjoying the videos I'm putting out, if you like watching them, uh, if you could, and if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button down below. It's free to do so, uh, and it just helps uh, with my channel growth. It helps let the YouTube robot know that uh, people are liking, liking my videos and uh, subscribing to the channel. And feel free to leave some comments. Uh, like the video, dislike the video, uh, whatever you want to do. But all of that helps me in the long run. So I appreciate you guys. But let's cut over to the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. guys quick update uh, I just talked to Brett he's got a cow down so we finally got one down on day three I haven't seen anything I jumped a lot of elk on my walk out fresh tracks you know in the snow you could tell they were fresh so I'm gonna regroup here catch my breath I'm not in the best spot for being able to see much but I'm trying to move move with the elk and try to find them and put one on the ground so um I'm gonna make my way over to that ridge. I did it yesterday, but I gotta get up there and go around, but that's gonna suck. But it is what it is. It's all part of the game out here. There's no easy way to anything. I don't know if I'm gonna get any footage of that cow or not. I'm gonna try to add some pictures. Uh, I don't know what he's doing, if he's gonna let it lay, keep hunting, or what's gonna happen, but... Um, if I can get some video footage of it, I'm going to get it for you guys. If not, I'm going to drop some pictures here and and give you a look-see. So, yeah, we got one on the ground. So, let's keep her going. I got to tell you guys. This uh, Rocky Mountain elk hunting is not for the faint of heart. This is uh, pretty crazy. It's amazing. It's humbling. I'm in fairly decent shape. Uh, this is kicking I mean, you think it would get easier as time goes on. I'm not saying like body-wise, like my body's wiped out completely, but the breathing is uh, seems to get harder. It's harder to do. But I'm gonna keep hunting hard here, guys. I need to get elk down. See what it looks like up on top of that ridge. I don't know if I'll be able to see as much. It seems like these elk really are liking these aspens. If it's out in the open, they're liking these real thin aspens. But they're also liking the big timber. You know, up top. Way up there is some big timber. That's where Brett shot his this morning. I'm just working from east to west across these ridge tops. Check this out guys, I found my first elk drop shed. Spiker. 
It's been laying here a while. Pretty cool though. A little souvenir to take home. Alright guys, um, sent them out of water, uh, found this creek with some moving water, I picked up one of these life straws, um, pretty simple, put it in the water, take a drink.
afternoon number four. We got a lot of snow today. All of it's sliding off our camp here and stacking up, whatever. Um, pretty wild out here. You know, camping out in the middle of the Colorado Rockies. Five miles off of any road. But it's been fun. It's been a fun trip. And now I gotta kill an elk. dangerous in the snow. I had to uh, back out and punt because of the wind. I wanted to sit up on this ridge, but the way the wind is blowing, it's kind of blowing my scent down in here, but being down in here, I'm kind of out of the wind. But anyways, real brushy over there. I can't see much. Because that's all I got was pictures of it because it was getting kind of dark. But there was 
was, you know, splatter of blood, splatter of blood, and then I, I backed out because it was, number one, it was dark, my headlamp was dying, and it was a freaking blizzard, so I just felt like I wasn't gaining anything by continuing to pursue them, so the plan is this morning to hunt for a few hours, because we've all still got tags to fill, I'm going to hunt for a few hours. And then I'm going to get back where I left off the blood trail and hopefully end up following it to a dead animal. But you guys, I'm an emotional wreck right now. Like I, I barely slept last night. I'm sitting on a ridge about 400 yards from camp where I seen some elk run through yesterday morning. And uh, once the sun starts peeking up, I'm going to weasel my way around. shot him down that way. He ran down this ridge. And I left off the blood down that way somewhere. I'm at a loss for words anyway. I know it's part of hunting, but man, I've been busting my ass out here. All of us have been. And, um, you know, the other guys in camp, they, they feel bad for me just as well. And it's it would have been nice to find him last night, but, you know, I'm not going to be able to follow a blood trail. I'm just going to have to follow his track because the blood trail is probably um, gone, buried in snow. But I should still be able to see his track in the snow. Quick update. I just heard a shot directly behind me where Biggie's at, and he texted me. He said, pull down. Oh, my God. I'm so happy for him right now. <laughs> It's uh this has just been a roller coaster ride, guys. It's uh it's so emotional being out here and, and chasing these animals because they're so hard to they're so hard to find. And then, you know, you get a split second of an opportunity to, to do it, you know, to kill it. And uh, I can't wait to walk over there. I'm gonna I'm gonna get on the phone with him here in a minute and see what he wants me to do, but I'm so excited for him. It's so awesome. We got some work ahead of us. Look at all this fresh sign down here. Look who I found. How was your morning? seen anything like it I thought I had to go this way but you wanted me to go that way no I wanted you to come right through there okay because there's a lot of tracks on the back side of this ridge they come through here this morning it's all fresh track behind me here yep. I thought they were all out of there they started coming over that ridge where that sun is yep Lucas, if there wasn't 50 to 60 to 75 elk all along the top of that ridge from where the sun is now back to the right there wasn't one must be that hundred head they were talking about. I heard them cow calling right back over here. Then I, I seen them moving, coming up over. I dropped, I dropped that first bowl. Up here? Yeah. Okay. You can stand right here. See that brown mound just left of the sun at the top of that ridge? Yep. That's where they were th coming through. That's my, really my only shot. Were I they had. down here in this pond? Like, were they that close? No, that's all fresh tracks. That's from this morning. Okay. All down here. And then if you were to walk through this wood, it's nothing but track going that way. Okay. And I, they were all in, a bunch were in there last So if night. I'd have been in that spot over there, I probably would have had some, what do you see? They'd already came through. Okay. From this morning when I was yeah. coming through this Once wood. Once I came on, off the backside of Everest and slid down the hill, dude, there was so many tracks going, running the ridge. The ones that I let go by walked right across there and stayed at the top. And then they went probably down just like that. Okay. So yeah, if I was going to try to cut them off, I had to go that way. I mean, it, it was a, a, a... Well, right. I don't know how many elk. Right. <laughs> no, I, I, I get it, man. I, I couldn't imagine it. I couldn't. I, they were walking through. They'd come through. One would come through. One would be behind it. One would come, you know. Is this where around. you've been sitting the whole time? For the most part, I mean, in the mornings. I was up on that ridge. If I'd have been on that ridge, they'd have walked. They'd have trampled. Trampled there, yeah, because the wind was perfect for that. But this is where I've been ever since. Yeah. Look. 
Well, I carved this in yesterday. <laughs> nice. It's just something to do. I got my mark on there. And it, so where I quit tracking is on the other side of this ridge. Correct. Okay. And then... I should have stayed right on top of Everest, and but it don't matter. I mean... Was that Brett shooting? When? There were two shots right there. I thought it was you. It must no. have been him. All right. A quick update. Me and Biggie were walking up to go check on it. Check on his bowl. Look at them cows are it. And I heard a cow just come through. I dumped one right there. 40. She's still kind of moving, kicking. She's, she's done though, dude. She's done. Dumped. She's done. And there's still five or six. They don't know where to go. She's done. She's down right there. Hey. Holy. That's how fast it happens. That's, yeah. That's how fast it <laughs> You have pump, pump, pump oh 12 God. hours a day and 12 seconds. You better be ready. That was a big cow, dude. I, I was sitting there looking at him. I'm like, which one's the biggest one? And they were on that middle one. Dumped him. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god, it's him. There he is. Hey. Perfect shot on him. Nice four by four, Biggie. Hey. Congrats, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Look at the size of that animal. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's hear the story. It happened so fast. <laughs> We've been hunting since Saturday. Saturday morning. morning. It's Thursday. It's Wednesday now. And uh, I had a chance at a, at a bull elk right here on this ridge, 20 yards that way. Biggie was just down and right well, down there. Um, that's right where he was standing. Dude, that was a poke. At least this, 160 yards. Oh, that's a poke. I and thought he was at the top of the, I mean, he's at the top. I had to thread the needle from down there. <laughs> Gap probably that is a marksman style shot. I mean, look at the, all the way down there. It's probably closer to 200 yards. First bull elk, Colorado. <laughs> oh shot. my God. Look at him. He, he heaped right up. <laughs> he was oh, it come out his neck, I think. But right where your gun's laying, I think, is where you hit him. He piled right up. <laughs> what an animal! It's absolutely gorgeous. All the work since Saturday. Miles and miles up and down. Oh, miles. We've probably put on over 20 miles just walking, hiking around these mountains. Easily. That's incredible, man. That's what it's all about right there. You're gonna be able to eat on that baby for <laughs> until next year. <laughs> Thank you, God. And five minutes after I shot, the the window I had, the sun come out right over top of the ridge, right through the window, 
shining right over top of this thing. <laughs> it was unbelievable. It was a sign. <laughs> this is awesome. Brown hump that we were looking at now. Um. Look at that brown hump. A cow down. A cow down right over the ridge. And uh, it's right. it's nine o'clock. Is it only nine? Nine thirty. Yeah, I'm Brett called. How's it feel, Biggie? <laughs> it's it's been a. There's no word for it. It's a lot of work. It's a great animal. They're just magnificent beasts. <laughs> That's what they are. You work so hard for them. They're elusive. You have 15 less. You got a split seconds. second to make a decision and yeah. make a move. It's it's unreal. <laughs> Five by what? Four by four. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. He didn't take another step. No. Right from here. Dude, he was way on the other side of that opening. Oh my god. All the way straight down to straight down to there. You shot him right here. How far? Yeah, that's got to be close to 200 yards. Right through this window, you see them dead trees down there? And that brush? Yeah, yeah. He was standing down in there. Wow. You just put it on or you go high? I was high, but it's right through this window, right through yeah. here. He had to thread the needle. Oh, and there's the bull. And there's our savior, Dave, the mule. All right, those are the front, so I need a hind and a front. Okay. Right here, buddy, MVP. Yeah, baby. All right, let's see how that looks. That'll work. Love it. Uh, want a little more? Actually, hold on. No, I want to put that leg on the other side. Lift up on that side. Look at this mule. Oh. It's what they're bred to do, work for you. They love it. Okay. I'm all out. Perfect. Just one. I got both your things on charge. Well, we got this cow worked over. Got the fronts. They got to take the head for TV. We got the two hinds. We got the back straps. So we're right up here on top of the mountainside. The aftermath. Up here, guys, look. Damage done, baby. <laughs> yeah. And there it is. You didn't see any of them do them tracks. All the tracks were made when I came through like that. And there it goes, just like that. Yeah. And away they go. That's how you do it. We're left with a mess. But that's a good thing. I think the line's in for Biggie first. He, <laughs> yeah. did, he did the 200. He, he's being a little modest here saying 200 yards. It's like more like 240. <laughs> yeah. With a 30 hey, on six. With a 30 on six. It. <laughs> it full, and it, it shrapneled it. If I go down there again, I ain't coming I ain't back coming up. Back. <laughs> you better throw me my rope. To Western Colorado elk hunting. Successful hunt? More than that. It was a lot of work, trip. man. This was a humbling experience. Very. No fighting, no arguing, no yeah, really disagreeing. Yeah. Just kind of opinionated. Hey, maybe try going this way, and it all worked out in the end. I really wanted you guys to get over here and see this. I know. You thought I, you did, but you, you just still right. hadn't. I wish I would have seen it. I said, I kept saying to myself, walk. This is it. The last time up here, leaving the kill scenes, and uh, trudging through knee deep snow to get out of here <sighs> thank you population that get a chance to do this 
it's yeah. even smaller with that percentage of seed like that come over that right range. people don't i mean to experience this is just we're out in the middle of nowhere god's country yeah we're right in the thick of it Hey, they can go either way. Yeah. And there you are standing next to a tree, not knowing if you're going to see anything. The fucker is laying behind. <laughs> 80 yards away. I kind of thought I wasn't going to see anything just because of that, the tracks. Like you missed the boat. Yeah, but then I was just like, well, them guys are up on that ridge, and if there's anything down or on the other side where you guys were at, just moving around might get something moving right. and it hopefully come this way. I was saying because that herd has nothing to do with all the other elk we saw till then. We got all of our stuff packed up here at camp. Another beautiful morning. I mean, it's in the sun. It feels like about sixty degrees, but um, yeah. There's the cavalry. I don't know if you can see them over the hill or not, but they're coming up. So how was the trip? So I'm ready to do it again. Rest these legs a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give them a give them a break. <sighs> What about you, Biggie? Biggie got the bull. I don't want to leave. No, I don't. So, yeah, I feel about the same way. I don't think anybody really wants to leave. It's time to time to go back to reality, but uh, it was a fun trip. There's old Red. Say bye to Red. Yeah, there's old Red. <laughs> Treated us well. Yeah, all in all, it was a fun trip. I mean, exhausting to say the least, but we all survived injury-free, and it was a hell of a time, so can't wait to do it again. There they are. Yeah. How was the ride in? It was good. Yeah. We saw the bottom. They came back up to you after we shot up. There was probably a hundred kids. Close. He was sitting on that rig with a duck pond. We were clear down at the bottom and they were just like ants everywhere. That's crazy. I'm a big nigger, I think. What do you have? Yeah, Biggie over there, the bull killer. Yeah, my other ones are rolled up. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, he's gonna fly down hill a lot of that mud now. He's doing that cold. Tired of one. Right. And we probably won't drink him at the trick. We'll just go boogie because we're only bringing so many back. We can drink him. Have a saddle up and ride, boys. Yep. So that wraps up the uh, elk hunting series. Uh, we've already got it scheduled to go back next year. We've got a different game plan already in store for next year. And I'm hoping to get some more video action uh, while we're out there. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. And once again, feel free to leave a comment, thumbs up, thumbs down, uh, whatever you prefer. And I'd appreciate it if you guys subscribe to the channel. Took the dog for a walk this morning and uh, seen some ice on a pond. So we're going to be ice fishing here before too long. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next one.